The NTSB says it will not be giving daily briefings on the Amtrak derailment. They are focusing on their investigation at this time. But what we are learning tonight is the outpouring of support from the locals nearby. MTN's Asher Line explains. Small town Montana is known for being friendly and cooperative, and that was put on full display when disaster hit in Liberty County. The Amtrak derailment was catastrophic, but Chester and Joplin community members quickly jumped in as they always do when someone needs help. CJ Mann is one of those people and runs the Chester supermarket with his family. He said they brought food and supplies right off their shelves to give to people who needed it and said that is what Chester is all about. Like uh, here is to me is like uh, we know everyone if you live like in a big city you don't know who live next door to you. But over here you know everyone everyone your friend and everybody like very helpful if you need a help oh man they always ready. Then we think like we have to, the people really need a food you know. So then we take some food from the store and some supply like a medicine or like bandage or that kind of stuff, you know, ice pad. And uh, we took over there and uh, give to everyone. Liberty County residents have not seen anything like this in a long time, but their response to the incident saved many lives and showed just how tight knit the Highline communities are. When we pulled up, it was pretty crazy because people were just getting there. Dust was flying. It was kind of just madness of people stumbling out, the ones that could get out on their own from the non-tipped over cars as we pulled in from the west. That was what we were running into. Uh, I mean, that, that's the best part of small town Montana or anywhere in this country, I guess, small town. People step up and do anything to help. Oh, it's amazing, uh, but you know, it's <laughs> really not that big of a surprise. That's, that's just the way we are. <laughs> Those faces and smiles and through all of it, I mean, they were just um, they were they were impressed at how everybody came together and helped them and just they were just really appreciative. We know that if it does happen, everybody's here. Incidents like this are something you can't ever plan for, but there will always be plenty of people ready and willing to help. In Chester, Asher Lined, MTN News. Well, for the passengers displaced in Saturday's tragic Amtrak derailment, Montana's High Line might have felt like the middle of nowhere, but as they quickly found out, and the rest of the world is starting to understand, sometimes the best people in the world come from the middle of nowhere. MTN's Tom Wiley explains. Well, for passengers displaced by Saturday's Amtrak derailment, Montana's High Line might have felt like the middle of nowhere. But as they quickly found out and as the rest of the world is starting to understand, sometimes the best people in the world come from the middle of nowhere. Inside the Bethel Lutheran Church in Joplin, Montana, important work is being done. Sometimes we don't get a lot of quilting done, we just do a lot of visiting. Yeah. <laughs> this group of ladies meets every Tuesday, sharing stories and fellowship and quilting blankets, which they stockpile in the basement of the church. Probably in a year, we, we go between 700 and we have had 1,000. So we probably send out about 500 or better. They usually do eight a day. For what purpose? They don't always know. They just make them. But on Saturday night, as fate would have it, the quilts were needed more than ever when an Amtrak derailment stranded passengers in the middle of the High Line. That would be so frightening to be all alone in a strange place. Betty Woolery is the mother-in-law of Liberty County Sheriff Nick Erickson. And when she got the call that there was an emergency in town, she knew their work was needed. So, yeah, my daughter called. I was uh, in Shoto and called about getting quilts because they needed some. And I said, absolutely. There's a whole pile sitting on a table downstairs. Just go get them. And we were so happy to be able to do that. At the community center in Chester, the quilts were distributed to the passengers. That's kind of fun to, to know that somebody's going to enjoy something that you did. Well, it just gives you a good feeling. And you know, when you get older, you don't accomplish a whole lot. And this way you can accomplish something. The quilters were one of many groups that came to the aid of passengers in need that night. Most were volunteers, some were strangers, but all of them were heroes. I mean, this is Montana. This is neighbors helping neighbors. And, um, you know, anybody will see somebody on the side of the road. And, and, you know, a lot of people stop to help them. And it's great. And I think we are God's hands yeah. and feet and heart. Wherever there's a need, wherever we're directed to do it, we do it.
Now, the Joplin quilters donate about half of their quilts to the community, whether it be graduations, cancer patients, new babies, but the rest of them will be sent to the Lutheran World Relief Warehouse at the end of the year. Then they'll start stockpiling next year's crop as well. Reporting from Joplin, Tom Whiteley, MTN News.